Did you know that Mahatma Gandhi, the celebrated icon of peace, once supported the British Empire in a war? Yes, you heard it right. The man who would later become the face of non-violence and passive resistance was once a soldier in the British Army. Intrigued? Let's dive deeper into the life of this enigmatic man and uncover some less known facts. Born on October 2, 1869 in Porbandar, a small coastal town in present-day Gujarat, India, Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi, later known as Mahatma Gandhi, was the youngest of his father's four wives' children. Growing up, Gandhi was an average student and extremely shy. He even ran back home from school because he couldn't bear to talk to anyone. In 1888, Gandhi set sail for England, leaving behind his wife and a newborn son. He was only 18 and had vowed to his mother that he would remain a vegetarian and abstain from alcohol and women. In England, he studied law and was called to the bar in June 1891. Here comes the shocker. In the Second Boer War, which was fought between the British Empire and two Boer states over the empire's influence in South Africa, Gandhi volunteered to form a group of stretcher bearers as the Natal Indian Ambulance Corps. Yes, he supported the British. In 1906, Gandhi organized his first mass civil disobedience campaign, known as the Satyagraha, in response to the Transvaal government's new restrictions on the rights of Indians. It was during this time that he began to develop and implement the concept of non-violent resistance. Fast forward to 1942. Gandhi's Quit India movement was a call to end British rule in India. It was a do-or-die mission, which led to his arrest and imprisonment. He was released in May 1944 due to failing health. Gandhi's life was marked by simple living and high thinking. He spun his own clothes, advocated for self-sufficiency and lived on a simple vegetarian diet. His life was a message, a message of peace, of tolerance and of the power of the human spirit. But, as we have seen, the path he walked was not always one of non-violence. His early support for the British Empire during the Second Boer War is a testament to the complex and sometimes contradictory nature of this great man's life. In conclusion, Mahatma Gandhi, a man of peace, once wore a soldier's uniform. His life, though marked by non-violence and passive resistance, is not devoid of surprising and sometimes shocking contradictions. And it's these contradictions that make his life all the more fascinating. Remember, even the greatest among us are human, full of complexities and contradictions. So, the next time you think of Gandhi, remember not just the icon of peace, but also the man, with all his flaws and virtues.